A new study came out showing that a certain kind of exorcist, wait, no, that can't be right. Oh, exercise. A certain kind of exercise called high intensity interval training can reduce plaque and arteries in high risk cardiovascular disease patients. High risk cardiovascular disease patients in regards to the study means patients that have stable angina, which is chest pain, undergoing percutaneous coronary intervention. From now on, that will be referred to as PCI which is when they blow up a tiny balloon in your body to open up the arteries. All the patients also had to be on a statin. So this is not your ordinary person with high cholesterol. This is someone that has very high risk of a cardiovascular disease event. Now, a total of 60 people were split into two groups, one being the HIT group and the other being the control group. For the HIT group, the workout consisted of a 10 minute warm up at 60 to 70% peak heart rate, then four minutes balls to the wall at 85 to 95% heart rate, followed by a three minute rest at 60 to 70% peak heart rate. You thought you were done? You're not. You're going to repeat the last two steps four times, followed by a five minute cool down. The entire workout should last around 40 minutes. It was done two times a week for six months. Something we want to make sure here is that both groups had similar sets of people. We don't want anything to be different from either group other than the workout plan. We want twins separated at birth not a celebrity model and her sugar daddy. And as we can see here, the average person in terms of age, body mass index, cholesterol levels, and so on, were pretty much identical, so twins. Now for the results, the study states we found significant reductions in PAV by 1.2%, from 49.5% to 48.3%, and TAV reduced by 9 millimeters cubed. PAV is the percent of plaque blockage, and TAV is the volume or thickness of that plaque. Pretty good results here, but some limitations of the study. First of all, it's a small sample size, only 60 participants, so like a football team not including Taylor Swift. Second of all, it's hard to say if that 1.2% less plaque actually has any clinical benefit. Realistically, we don't care about a 1% or 2% or 50% reduction in plaque if it doesn't result in better outcomes like less heart attacks and strokes and death. The number itself is useless without the hard outcomes. This study doesn't report that and at a six month follow-up, it really can't, that is way too short of a length to measure any kind of cardiovascular event. However, we know that from statin studies, each 1% decrease in plaque equals 20 to 25% decrease in heart attacks. However, since these are two different methods like exercise versus a drug, we can't really say if the decrease in 1% from the exercise will result in similar decrease in heart attacks, a greater benefit or no benefit at all. Something else we want to keep in mind is that patients in the HIT group lost weight. So even with that, we're not sure if the benefits are coming from the weight loss or the workout itself. What I mean by that is, is the decreased plaque percentage and thickness because of the actual HIT workout or is the exercise not the actual reason and it's the weight loss that caused it instead? We don't know from this study. Something we do know is that none of the cholesterol biomarkers like LDL, HDL, APOA, or B changed between groups and also no difference in hemoglobin A1C. That is kind of interesting. We'd expect some kind of improvement in those biomarkers after rigorous exercise and weight loss, but these patients were also on a statin, so their cholesterol levels were probably well controlled to begin with. Also, usually drastic changes in weight, like a 15 to 20% reduction, will show benefits on those biomarkers. So maybe the weight loss wasn't as drastic. Several things we do know from previous research is that the best kinds of exercise for weight loss are HIIT workouts. So something like this, where you go hard for a bit, then rest, then repeat several times, a few times a week. The best kind of exercise for muscle building, which is important for bone and muscle health, is strength training or resistance training. And the best kind of exercise for heart health is low intensity cardio, like running a mile or two at a nice and steady pace. So in order to be healthy and well-rounded as we can possibly be, we want to make sure we incorporate all kinds of exercise styles and intensities in our workout regimen. We all should be sprinting, strength training, and jogging in our workouts. Don't just pick one. Do all of it, but on different days. 
don't kill yourself while trying not to die. Check out my video on weight and diabetes that I'll link here below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.